Someone want to explain to me what in the world is an assault pistol? Uh, the weapon that we recovered at that second scene, I'm describing as a magazine fed semi automatic assault pistol, not an assault rifle, but an assault pistol that had an extended large capacity magazine uh, attached to it. You know, at this point, I think the gun control lobby is trolling us. An assault pistol? First, the gun control lobby was waxing poetic about the dangers of assault rifles until the gun community demonstrated that a semi-automatic rifle, by its very definition, can't be an assault rifle. And actual assault rifles are essentially banned in this country. However, once they realized that that trick wouldn't work anymore, they switched it up and started calling semi-automatic rifles assault weapons. Once again, we demonstrated that a weapon can't assault. And when they realized that trick wouldn't work either, they flipped it and reversed it and started calling semi-automatic rifles assault style weapons. What does that even mean? They're just making up words at this point. Semi-automatic assault pistol. But you wanna know why they're calling the gun he used an assault pistol? It's because him killing as many people as he did with a pistol destroys their narrative that the semi-automatic rifle is this deadly mass murdering machine. You see, they can only get people to agree with banning semi-automatic rifles if they make them seem exceedingly scarier and more deadly than any other gun. But when you have a group of defenseless people in a small space with nowhere to go, it doesn't matter what the gun is. You are going to kill a lot of people. And that's by and large what most mass shootings are. A lot of people who are defenseless and trapped in a space where the shooter has free reign to shoot people at will. In this case, he used a pistol and killed 11 people. At Uvalde, the shooter used a semi-auto rifle and killed 19 people. At Virginia Tech, the shooter used a pistol and killed 33 people. What's crazy is that the gun used in this shooting was a semi-automatic MAC-10 pistol, which is known for being a terrible gun. There are literally articles written about the MAC-10 saying that it is an overhyped hunk of junk. And that was the full automatic version of the MAC-10. In this case, he was using the semi-auto version. So you can only imagine how much worse that one is. But let us not forget that this shooting took place in the gun control mecca that is Los Angeles, California, where you can only own guns that are on a special list. You have to register your guns and you can't have more than 10 rounds in your gun. Keep in mind, none of these bird brain laws stop this shooting from happening. I want you to think about that for a second. If these boo boo to fool gun control laws couldn't stop a dancing 72 year old, what makes you think they're stopping any criminal? For crying out loud, even the sheriff couldn't tell us what the gun was or whether or not the gun was illegal in California. And basically said he had to go and consult the ATF to figure out if it was legal in California. My goodness, if the sheriff can't determine what guns are legal or not in the state, how in the world are the citizens supposed to be able to? These gun laws are nothing more than traps. They're so numerous and convoluted that most of the people breaking these gun laws are breaking them on accident. If you wanna guarantee that these mass shootings keep happening, keep trying to solve this issue with gun control instead of empowering people to be able to defend themselves against people like this. And shout out to the guy who was able to stop this lunatic at the second location where he tried to slaughter more people. Like I said before, people shouldn't be forced to face armed criminals with just their hands. But yet, that is the society and the world that these gun control politicians and gun control lobbyists want to create for you. You have to face armed criminals with your hands and only your hands. That's why they're calling it now an assault pistol. Next thing you know, it'll be an assault weapon pistol. And it'll be assault style pistol kind of sort of style assault weapon. All of these names, this nomenclature is designed to target the low information voter because the low information voter doesn't know the difference between a MAC-10. MAC low information voter doesn't know the difference between a real assault rifle and a semi-automatic rifle. They don't know these things. So all they have to go off of are the words and the sounds and what they tell them in the mass media, which is why it's so important 
So important to spread messages like this so that people can understand that there is a difference, there is a distinction, and that these gun control laws don't work. As a matter of fact, they make things worse, but they wouldn't know that because they don't put these things in the mainstream media. Their ultimate goal is to ban guns. It's not to pass reasonable gun laws. It's not to be fair. It's not to try to come up with a common sense solution. It's none of these glorious, nefarious, weirdo statements that they come up with that sound good on paper, but mean nothing in reality. Their goal is to ban guns. And the sooner we understand that, the better we can have this conversation. Not with them, not with them. They're not their goal. They've stated what they want and they don't. There's no amount of logic. There's no amount of reasoning that's gonna change their mind. The gun control lobby, gun control politicians, they gain nothing from being reasonable in this conversation. They stand to gain nothing but lose power. That's it. And they don't wanna lose that power and they don't wanna lose control. So the conversation is not with them. The conversation is with the people in the middle because they're the people who actually make the decisions in this country, whether you want to believe it or not, they do. Because when these dumb laws come down the pipeline, they're the ones either voting for it or not. I know you won't vote for it. I know they will vote for it. But these people make up a lot more people than the people on the extreme sides of this issue. So the conversation needs to be had with those people. And that's who I talk to in these videos. I talk to you to talk to them. Whether it is you taking my video and sending it to someone or you taking what I say in this video and using it in a conversation with someone. Because those people are the most important people are the people in the middle. That's who they're talking to. So that's the people we need to start talking to. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia, the new Draco design and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video. Or if you're watching this on mobile, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.